I charge my mobile phone for a while. Okay, and then, you know, I need to investigate more. Okay, because, you know, this is just like a, a basic chemical reactions. By the way, the title of this uh, vlog is Eating Bacon and Read Metcosis Cancer. Okay, so this is again. Welcome back to my YT channel. I am a singer, eternal voice, a YouTube content creator, and your social media influencer. Okay, so nakakao na ba ang tanan? Okay, na chat. So we need to feed our hungry stomach in order for us to have energy <laughs> and nutrients to absorb and to digest the knowledge that I will be able to present to you guys because this is highly technical, okay? Uh, science technical information in regards to health science and it has to do something with our healthy lifestyle, health, fitness, and diet also as well. So it has to do something with the uh, connectivity of these topics. Health science, something like that, and health science information. And then somewhat also related to the basic chemistry, something like that, anatomy, physiology, epidemiology. So somewhat related to each other. And we can only discuss to you the basics of those medical terminologies. Okay, because I am not a doctor. Okay, so I am more on the science. Okay. So since you know already that uh, I am a licensed chemical engineer, because the chemical reactions will be there always. And I just on the to associate uh, chemical reactions with uh, anatomy, okay, the physiology and epidemiology, okay. So at least we know the flow of our discussion, so that it will be uh, it will not be a labyrinth of nowhere. Okay, you know already the meaning of labyrinth, right? So so there will be no more confusions at all. Okay, so it's having a clarity. Where do we go in our objective? in this particular vlogging okay you need to erase the contents of the whiteboard okay so it's gonna be like that okay but our title is specific uh, what's that eating bacon causes cancers like that why cancers because in this uh, point of view we have three types of cancers here Okay, we go directly to the impact first and then later we go back to the causes or the road causes, right? So so that we can easily target oh there's gonna be the impact and results, okay? So we have okay, we have the flow, okay. We have here this this is like a flow chart. Okay, you know flow chart is always a, a helpful tool in engineering, right? Especially also in OSH okay, study. So we need to understand the flow chart, okay? And then first we do the action verb, action verb. <laughs> okay, first we're gonna do the eating, right? Eating, oh, like that. And our subject here is eating red meat processed foods, or let's say, example, bacon. We focus on the bacon because the experimental study of World, World Health Organization is all about bacon. Since we know also that the bacon is a, a representation only by the other red meat, such as sausage, hot dog, meat loaf, beef loaf. So basically, since they are a fatty substances, they will normally exhibit the same properties and characteristics as bacon. So basically, to be general, so these are all classified as one category as meat. Okay, so we don't have also to study the, the hot dog, the beef, so that would be uh, okay, not practical anymore. As long as we target already that the, the ill health benefits of eating bacon will just be the same of eating also other meaty substances like, uh, you know, uh, red meat. Okay, any kinds of meat something like that you get the point so it's just happened that proving experimentally is the bacon okay it's gonna be like that so eating i can say only eating meat red meat so i'll just put bacon to, to be more specific right like that okay and then after that okay we go directly to the flow chart and then 
it will produce okay nitrosamine okay nitrosamine I mean this is a carcinogenic substance or a carcinogen that can cause cancers and the last will be the cancers here last block black meaning b l o c k not the black uh, black color huh b l o c k for example b f d black flow diagram uh, so we are uh, really emphasizing the black not the black color okay get the point so it's gonna be the cancers cancers still are the plural in form because we have here look at the flow chart is very clear right look at the screen mga palangka Okay, it's gonna be like this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah. See, cancers we have. Okay, breast cancer for women. Okay. And then number two, we have bowel cancer for everybody, regardless of ages, whether it is a kid, whether it is a youth or teenagers, adults, women. Okay, like that. Lolo, Lola, Ever, everybody. This is for everybody. Okay, the bowel cancer, cancer. Okay, B O W E L. So, show me this stool. Stool cancer. So, the usually the appearance of your stool will have a, a blood. Okay, and it's slippery, something like that. So, it's a symptom that you can develop this bowel cancer due to eating of too much red meat processed food anyway there are so many causes but you know there's only one of the causes okay okay number three we have the prostate cancer for men prostate cancer for men okay ages 40 years old pataas for men so it's very clear that not only for sexual intercourse with multiple partners, you can develop the prostate cancer, but also in this eating of too much bacon. Anyway, you will never worry because bacon is very expensive, right? But it means generally red meat processed food. Okay, like that. So this is a flow chart. It's very easy to understand, right? Okay, it's in here. The flow chart is very clear, but it's in here, between here. We need to introduce the control measures here, here. Control measures and prevention here. We need to add another block in order this cancer will not develop. Okay? It's in here. We need to prevent, we need to control, we need to correct, we need to intervene, we need to foreclose, we need to reduce, we need to minimize, we need to eliminate. And there's a lot of adjectives you'll be able to use here in this full charts. As long as you do something to control, okay? Any actions you will be able to do, okay? Something like this. Our target really is to remove these cancers or ill health sicknesses and diseases or chronic diseases that usually appears uh, long years, something like that. Okay, after two years, after three years, after five years, after 10 years, after 15 years. Okay, it depends on the dosage of the level of your bacon. Okay, it's gonna be like that. So, if you have this nitrosamine as a carcinogens or carcinogenic organic compound, why human being should have this nitrosamines? Okay, why? Aside from avoiding, why? Because we cannot avoid completely this nitrosamines because our immune system needs this. That's only the sometimes the, the vague area sometimes of health science. There are foods and substances and drinks that are not really that helpful, but still we need that also as a precursor or a raw material to synthesize another biochemical substances inside our body, especially the production of chemical messengers hormone that our brains needed in effective communication so that there will be an effective functioning of our vital organs. It's gonna be the case 
But there are also, I think, there are also substances that are completely toxic, but most of the times, those toxic substances have also helpful benefits. So these are really the, the difficult part, okay, sometimes, okay? You get the point? Okay, that's gonna be the reason how. We cannot control this, okay, because our body needs low level of nitrosamines, okay? And we can obtain this through the water we drink, the food, and dairy products, and also in drugs, okay? Drugs, the medicines, the pharmaceuticals, products like that, the, the capsules, the tablets, the antibiotic, like that, the syrup. So it's also there, the nitrosamines. There are a lot of sources of nitrosamines, and if we take that in, in our immune system, then that's why we cannot avoid completely. Okay, with the point. So there's a chance really that this will develop in the future. Okay, that's why all over the world there are cases that will die really of these three types of cancers due to the presence of these nitrosamines driven by nitrates converted to nitrite. And this nitrite will be the ingredient to produce nitrosamine. So actually, basically, we have a wait. We have a reduction reaction. Okay, from nitrate, it will turn out to a nitrite. So basically, we need to add antioxidant. Okay, anti meaning we need to reduce the atoms of oxygen. That's why antioxidant because the oxygen atoms are very high in nitrate, and we have to reduce the oxygen atoms. It will be reduced, and then after we do that one then we can have a lower level of nitrosamines with, which are the carcinogenic substances to cause cancer. Okay, now let's go back to the uh, chemical reactions. Okay, I will erase this. You understand already the flow? Later we will discuss uh, in detailed fashion what is this nitrosamine all about, like that, blah, 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 so and so. But before anything else, we need to understand Okay, the framework, the chemistry, the framework chemistry, how these nitrates and nitrites work into our immune system, something like that. But the point is, we eat the meat, then the nitrate will be automatically intake or taken into our uh, internal digestive system, okay, which is uh, inside our stomach, okay, along with the water, of course. Get the point, things like that. Okay, now, in a general chemical reaction, okay, so that we can easily understand. So it's going to be like, uh, <clears throat> uh, starting from nitrate, okay, like that, starting from nitrate. So, actually our flagging today is a combination of chemistry, health science, uh, you know, physiology, anatomy, epidemiology. This is a, a complete package by linking this topics into one type of love okay if you want also to jot down and take down notes then it would be better also because sometimes we cannot also register at one time in our brain cells so we have to take down notes the impo most important part something like that okay so i think this is also applicable to those who are in the restaurants uh, industry the food industry food and beverages industry you must also have this uh, knowledge because this is more on the talking about more nitrates, nitrites in which we cannot deny this are the ingredients of our preservatives something like that, you get the point okay, now so we have this uh, nitrate okay, so let's get straight to the point preservatives have nitrates as the component okay it's not uh, directly nitrite nitrite only will be uh, a result from the oxidation of nitrate okay something like that you get the point through adding water into our system later I will be able to to show you the chemical reactions okay so this is the general chemical reactions first to make it easy okay nitrate okay negative one Charlotte. I have to show negative one and iron negative one plus NO it will turn to NO2 negative one again. Okay, like that. 
So this is the nitrite, okay? Now, to reduce the level of our nitrous amines not in excess, so we need to convert this uh, NO2 nitrite into nitric oxide. And there will be no problem at all. Okay? Nitric oxide. Okay? But sad to say, it's seldom for manufacturers of the meat that they need to add something here in nitrite in order to avoid the nitrous amine. Usually, they go to the traditional process or the conventional, the most popular, <laughs> by not adding an antioxidant here in the nitrite. Okay? So, because I think they will add cost for them to buy these antioxidants and substances also. You get the point? It will be more expensive in their part also to add this, okay, antioxidants in which they will gain profit for the business and sometimes they don't care also for the health of the, of the people around the globe. Okay, as long as they can create uh, a product that is really uh, delicious, yummy, to the people and the, you know, the color and the appearance is perfect, like a perfect uh, pinkish, usually pinkish and reddish color of the mat, mint. Okay, the bacon. Oh, look at the bacon, it's somewhat pink because of the nitrite. Okay, now, so our target really is to, basing on my flow chart, we need to do control measures, right? So in here, we need to add antioxidant. Okay, so that we can avoid to produce a greater level or a high level of nitrosamine, which is a carcinogenic substance. Okay, organic uh, carcinogenic substance, meaning carcinogen. You get the point? Like that, okay? So to reduce all it, because due to the fact we cannot reduce that, because our body also needs uh, a low level of nitrosamine. Okay? So that's why we cannot avoid, okay? To reduce only. And then we have also to add salts, okay? Salts other than uh, powder salts. For example, we have sodium ascorbate. It's sodium ascorbate and also sodium erythorbate, okay? Like that. And sometimes also we need to add uh, celery juice powder. Okay, like that, celery juice powder. Okay, so by adding these antioxidants, we can limit the nitrosamines, okay, as a carcinogenic substance says. So this is what the, the United Kingdom, okay, Food Standards Agency is saying. Okay, because in their country, there are 10,000 deaths every year because of cancers due to high level of nitrates due to eating of bacon okay it was just lately in july 12 i think so based on my research july 12 2020 to that they found out it's really increasing the risk of bowel cancers or the stool cancers breast cancers and prostate cancers due to eating of bacon get the point and then they come up with an idea that they should establish a law in their country so that uh, they will limit okay, the nitrite in their meat processes, something like that, okay? And they said, we will urge the manufacturers of the meat to reduce at least 60% of this nitrite so that they will also reduce the levels of nitrosamine. Something like that. And then they basically come up into the idea that it's going to be 70 grams per day of this nitrosamines intake. And then they collaborated to the World Health Organization. Something like that. And then this will be generic to around the, around the globe because people around the world is eating red meat. You can see this in the bakala, in the hypermarket in the malls and everything in the grocery section and it is very tempting also actually this is not a problem if you know really the knowledge also but the problem is if you will eat in a frequent manner repetitive manner in excess uh, uh, sometimes in excess the problem okay you got the point <laughs> 
So, muna siya may tabo. Okay, now, muna siya ang reaction, ha? Tuluan ka mo. Okay. Here in the other side, okay, okay, we have the netrus. What oh, is that netrus? Yeah, this is netrus acid. Sodium nitride. Netrus, hmm, no, nitric acid, no, nitric oxide. Okay, why you don't see nitric oxide? This is not a nitrous oxide, so that's why so that I wrote. Nitrous oxide is NO2. And then NO is nitric oxide, okay? Then N2O3 is dinitrogen trioxide. This is a molecular compound. Remember the rule of a molecular compound? It is a non-metal plus non-metal, okay? So this is not, okay? Okay, this is not an ionic compound, okay? So you should also be clever what is an ionic compound and what, what is also a molecular compound because it matters a lot in understanding the chemical reactions in your ingredients, in your raw materials, okay? Something like that, you get the point. And now we have also here in 204, okay? This is gonna be dinitrogen tetroxide because this is for atoms, right? And then other will be organic nitrites in abundance. And there's a lot we could not mention everything about organic nitrites. So these are all nitrosating agents. Wow. Nitrosating agents. Okay. And this will be added to amine NH2, right? To produce nitrosamines. Problem. <laughs> okay. So these nitrosamines are the danger one. Okay, you get the point. Oh. So let's go back to the chemical reaction and erase this one. Okay. So basically, pala, nitrosating agents plus amine is equal to nitrosamine. Okay, and this amine is in the meat. You get the point? Oh. Because of the presence of the nitrates, normally it will produce an amine because amine is NH2. And that nitrogen there is coming from nitrate. Okay, it will be converted to nitrite. And then the nitrogen there is coming from the nitrite. And then that will be yielding an amino group NH2. Something like that. But this is the precursors or the raw materials. The nitrous oxide, sodium, okay, what's this? Oh, sodium nitrite. Uh, natural, nitric oxide, <laughs> dinitrogen trioxide, dinitrogen tetroxide, and other organic nitrides, something like that. Okay, get the point, mga tananda, umitad. Okay, now, okay, let's show the chemical reaction first. Okay, for example, we go by the, let's say, uh, nitrate first. Oh, ganon. Diba? Nitrate first tayo, diba? So we need to say sodium. Sodium nitrate. Okay? So this is salt of nitrate. Is sodium nitrate. Okay? This is only a general representation of the sodium nitrate. This general formula. Okay? Get the point. So we're gonna be adding water here. Something like that. Okay? Adding water. Okay? Water. And what will be the product here? Okay. When we add the water, what will be the product here? So meaning, the oxygen here will be reduced. Right? We will remember also the oxidation reduction. Okay? Uh, topic in chemistry. Meaning the, you know, the rega, the low ox. Rega meaning gains of electrons. Okay, meaning the decrease of the oxidation number. And the low ox will be the loss of electrons and then oxidation, something gonna, gonna be like that, okay? So, it will be reduced, meaning to say, it's gonna be like a uh, low ox, okay? <laughs> you get the point, low ox, loss of electrons, it will be oxidized, uh, yeah. gain of electrons, it will be uh, reduced, blah, 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 so and so, okay? Oxidized, reduced, okay? Basically, reduction, right? Riga, okay, riga. When you gain of electrons, the substance will be reduced. Okay? Meaning to say, we use water here as an our oxidizing agent. Okay? We use water here as our oxidizing agent so that the sodium nitrate will be reduced 
into sodium nitride. Okay, sodium nitride. Okay, this is a function of water here. Oxidizing agent. Okay, so sodium nitride. Okay, and after that one, mga talangga, kung itad, so what will it yield? So, ah, oh, sir, it's very difficult. We cannot guess. Yes, you cannot guess. It is highly technical and scientific. You will never guess the products. Now, if that is the case, if you find difficulty, uh, know also the different processes and chemical reactions involved. Okay, for example, whether it is an esterification reaction, alkylation, hydration, like that synthesis of thermal cracking, something like pyrolysis, or for example, uh, dealkylation, alkylation. There's a lot of, you know, uh, chemical reactions, inorganic or organic chemical reactions. So remember also the, you know, the basics, which is the neutralization reaction. The, we have also the hydrolysis. Things like that. If you found out, very, very difficult to predict the product. Okay? Because, you know, there's no such uh, brilliant in predicting the products. So you need to attach and associate our brain cells to the scientific theories of chemistry. And it's to produce the products. So here, we label. So nitrate is a soul. Okay, as I told you earlier. Water is an oxidizing agent. So this is water solvent or liquid okay so we will say salt plus water is equal to an acid and a base okay so we have now the sodium nitrite what is this okay things like that in your observation Charat. okay it will act as okay it will act as a base yes Try to recall your chemistry. Okay, yes. Okay, and then you can introduce now the HNO2. Okay, this is nitrous. Okay, oxide, nitrous acid. Okay, get the point. Okay, acid and So you need to, to also to have common sense. If the other one is base, the other one also is the base. Base acid, base acid, base acid, base acid, so that there will be no redundancies of your products, you know, in case you forgot the fury, something like that. You get the point? Now, after that one, you need to balance the chemical reactions. Oh, di ba? You get the point? So, what's gonna be the, the balanced chemical reactions? Okay, balance this out. Okay, so, sodium in the left is one atom. One atom in the product, check. Come on. Okay. So you need to familiarize the balancing of the chemical reactions, right? So oxygen 4, okay, balance. Mm. Hydrogen, if, if it is balanced or not, okay, check. Check mga palangga kung may tag. Balance will be sharp. Okay. So you have to put 2, right? Come on. So what should my balance? Put 2. Okay, when coffee sa mga palangga, I am very, very tired talaga. So, kinangla na tong toki ang mga pamahagi mo ni Higayuna. Okay? So, when coffee sa ha, pero activate ako brain cells. Charala. Nakaalaka! Okay? Ganon! Teka sa guys. Okay, look at this one too. Okay, then I. So, balance the chemical reaction. Let's do now the visual balancing. We don't go now to the algebra, algebra or math type of balancing equation because it will take time for us. I discussed that a while ago also. Okay? So, if this is a H2 here also, we need to do the right direct now because uh, the moles and the atoms are not too huge. It's very easy to balance. Okay, so H2, H2, oxygen 4, oxygen 4, sodium 1, okay, like that, and then oxygen 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 4. Okay, nitrogen, how much? Oh, this is uh, 2. Nitrogen is 1 from here, 1 from here is 3, right? Good the point. And now we will balance mga palangga ng ha. So, hydrogen, oh, balance ng hydrogen. That's correct. 
na balance pa ang hydrogen. Uh, okay, two such siya. Okay, and oxygen will be six, right? So it's gonna be oxygen six. No. Right? So two times two, four, four plus two, six, right? So we need to have another one here. Okay, we have, okay, six na siya, so we need to add three here. Okay, two. Okay, so three plus two, and then like that. Okay, so U is, uh, so U is one, and then is two. So we're gonna put two here. Mm -hmm. Ganan. Okay. Okay, ganun siya. Okay. Okay, then two, two, ganun. Okay, balance na siya. Balance siya, guys. Two plus four, and then six plus one, seven. Okay, wait for a while. Akong parun akong coffee, mga palamba kong hitag. Okay. You got the point, mga palamba kong hitag. Okay, muna yung nahitag muna yung higayuna. Wait for a while. Okay. Wait for a while, ha? So, ato yun ang misugutan. Okay, atong banabana ko ng mga number of moles. Okay. Di na banabana ang dahil sa technical juna siya, guys. Okay. Wait. Muna yung mahita ko yung higay yun na. Okay. Atong i-balance ang pinatibukan yung kuan. Charot. Di ba? Kinatipukan. Wait, mga palanda ha. Yung spoke coffee. Charot! So, ipasakit. Nakatalo ka. Okay. Wait, mga palanda. Tempasa, mga palanda kong hita. Okay, wait pa mga palangga ha. Okay, ako sa bubuan ng tubig. Ako sa kilid guys ha. Hindi ka bala ka, tayo pa sa. Pino, di ba? Mga palangga kong hitad. Okay, ganan. Ubalik ka sa atong topic. Okay, mga topic na itong mga kababalaghan. Charot! Okay. So, guys, I'm not comfortable in the trial and error method. Okay? So, let's go back to the math balancing of equation, right? I, I like the mathematical balancing of equation, not the trial and error method. It's not my expertise. Even though in college, I don't like to balance it in the trial and error method. Uh, trial and error method is just like, uh, for example, if you see two moles, you will put another two moles on the other side. Just, just to balance. It looks like you are, <laughs> you will be in error after the trial. That's why the title itself speaks. That's why most of the students will get, will get mistakes. Because the title itself speaks of what you are doing. See? Trial and error. We need to say, if you try and you go in another way, you will be in error. So, we need to say that kind of methodology is not the ideal of taking the balancing of the equation. Go to the mathematical point of view. Get the point? So, it's safer. Okay, really, it's safer to do the math mathematical point of view. Trust me. Okay? <laughs> you have to trust me. Okay, and this is most of the, you know, the, the failure of uh, some of the instructors and teachers 
Okay, because you also uh, you also give to their students the trial and error method. Uh, put two, I put also two here. Well, two, three, I put also here. I mean, that's not really the, the uh, proper way how to balance the chemical equation. Okay? Like that. Okay, let's go back first. Okay, sodium nitrate. Okay. Ta -da -dang, ta -da -dang, ta -da -dang, ta -da okay. Again. Okay, plus water. Mga talangga, kung hitad. Charo. Ganun, ganun. Okay. You get the point. Uh. So, oxidizing agent and water here. Okay. It will produce sodium nitride. Right? Sodium nitride. Right? And then after that, okay, what's the, the pairing for this one? Okay. So, we have the base and the acid. Okay, how can you do that? Okay, mga palangga kong hitad, it's gonna be uh, acid in the base. Base is basically sodium hydroxide here. Okay, base. Okay? Hala. <laughs> Tama ba guys? Tama ba akong mga assumptions? Kabog. Okay? Assumption kabog daw. Okay, okay base mali sodium hydroxide o, oh, and both have oxygen ba yako. Normally, as what I understand here in science also, if you have, if you will add, add H2O, normally the, the product will have OH. See? And this is basically true. And you need to balance now because based on the theory, mo, ang siya, guys. Okay. Diba? Hello. Umojul. Okay. Ganon. Okay. Nakalaka. Di ba mo, siya may tabu, guys? Wait for a while, ha? Now, it's just sodium hydroxide, sure. Okay? Okay. Wait, ha? Okay. So, now here, guys, you will, you will also confuse. Where's the acid now? Please, sorry, just because I don't prepare. This is my weakness. Okay, I rely on my stock knowledge. Okay, so where's the acid now? Since sodium nitrate is not an acid, it's a salt. Right? So you need to, to modify your understanding on the spot. Just like uh, correcting what's on the, your mind. Something like that. So it's gonna be, this, ah, that's gonna be nitrous oxide. No, nitrous acid. HNO2. Just to comply that acid and a base is equal to salt plus water. Hydrolysis is equals to neutralization reaction, reverse, reversible chemical reaction. Neutralization is equal to hydrolysis. Then it will become wrong because nagdali ko sa nitrite. Nagdali ko sa nitrite because I want that nitrite to be the component of nitrosamine in which that would not be the case directly in this equation. Because my, my brain cell is so quick to think for the nitrite. Sorry. Okay? Like that. Uh, so, let's log out. Sodium nitrate, salt. Okay. Water, oxidizing agent. Uh, salt plus water hydrolysis. Okay. Product, neutralization reaction, acid and a base. Base, sodium hydroxide. Okay. Because you have sodium in your reactant. Okay. Then normally water will yield hydroxide during reduction. Okay. Now, Nitrate also will reduce into NO2. But in this case, we need an acid, not a salt. So, nitrous acid, not sodium nitrite. Okay, you get the point. So, balance the chemical equation. Okay. Sodium, mga palang hitad, balance in the left, right. Okay, nakakalaka. So, hydrogen in the right, two also, I mean, also two hydrogen here. Nah, nakakalaka, perfect pa. Ah. Oxygen one, perfect. See, nakakaloka. So on the spot, na perfect na ko ang chemical reaction. Okay, so on the spot. So it is really completely balanced without modifying the number of moles and the number of atoms in this equation. Okay, so 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 tell me where does the nitrate here? Wait, we have elementary reaction, right? Anana na nasa guys. Okay, so imong gamit to three ari ang nitrous. Okay. 
Sabi na sa kong coffee mga palangga kong hitad, ha? Okay. You get the point, mga palangga kong hitad? Mm. You get the point? Ganon ang may tabo niya ng higayuna. Okay? Anak siya. Sabi na sa kong coffee. Okay? Okay. Okay, ganon. Um, so, asan mako, may mato makuha ang sodium nitrate? Okay? O oh, nitrates pala. Dito rin na po siya reaction. Okay? Like that. So, so, ang atong nitrosamine, atong nung duman, guys, ang formula sa nitrosamine is H2N2O. Meaning, 2 atoms of hydrogen, 2 atoms of nitrogen, and 1 atom of oxygen. Okay, remember that in your brain cells. Okay, you got the point. Ana lang siya. Okay. Wait guys ha. Okay. Okay. You got the point. So, ana siya. Okay, naman tayo netrus. Okay, this one. Netrus. Netrus oxide. So we have another elementary reaction. This is the step one. Okay, step one elementary reaction. Okay, then we go to the step two, right? To produce sodium nitrate. Nitrate na siya. Okay, then the point, mga palangga kong hitad. Mga anak lang siya. Okay, ganon. Diba? So after this reaction, okay, you will use this nitrous acid because it's here in our nitrosating agent listed here, see? HNO2 and HNO2 and O, ganon, chupa chucho, right? And to O3 and to O4, ganon, diba? So we need to have in a step 2, the nitrous acid. Okay, we have HNO2, ganon, ganon. Okay, then, then, we have now the sodium nitrite here. Okay. Take note here. Okay, sodium nitrite. Okay. Because as I told you, this sodium nitrate will be converted to sodium nitrite. Okay, later on pa siya in step 2. Not direct. Okay. And then, that's the time it will produce H2N2O as our product, then plus, this is double displacement reaction, double displacement, okay, then it will become H2N2O, then sodium oxide, here, okay, here, because nagamit naman mong H2NO2 here, see, H2N2O, yung ipo na mga element, element, chuba, chuchu, okay, so, tama, N, 1N, 1N, so it's expected the 2N here, so N2, oh, hydrogen, there's no other hydrogen yet, oh, like that. Then sodium, it's new sodium, okay. Sodium oxide, ano an? Ano an? Ano yun? You get the point? Oh, diba? Nakakaloka. So sodium oxide, no? Really? Yes. Ganun talaga ang nangyayari. Chuba, chuba, chuba. Okay. So ano siya, guys? Now, ang yung problem, no? Hydrogen na po. Then kung hindi mo ng hydrogen, ano ara? Okay, you get the point, mga palangga kong hitad. So muna siya yung mahitabo. Okay. So, very clear ha sa atong mga balancing equ equation. Okay. Now, we need to balance this finally. Okay. You got the point. This one. So that we can come up the product. HNO2. Right? Plus NaNO2 is equal to H2NO2. Mano na siya ang nitrosamine. Here. So, this is now the carcinogen. Okay. Carcinogen substance found in meat products okay like that this one okay now balance the chemical reaction coffee first hello mga palangga kong bitad yun lang magkukupi yung tawi para magkakwa ito mga anong charak diba ganaan ang nangyayari mga palangga kong bitad Okay. Okay. Going back na ta guys. Okay. 
So, i-balance pa rin nato para ma-finalize nato, no? So, the same, okay. So, hydrogen 2 here. Hydrogen 2 here, something like that, okay? Okay? Nakuha niyo mga talaga akong hitad. Okay, it's gonna be, okay, sodium here also. And then, they have the sodium oxide here, right? Okay. So, so, so tell me, what do you mean sodium hydroxide? Dili siya sodium hydroxide, guys, because it is not already a neutralization reaction. Okay? You get the point? So, that's only sodium oxide. Okay. Ganon. You get the point? Okay. Through visual inspection. Through. Oh, book nyo. To the re-array. Ganon. Okay. This balance immediately because not too much number of moles. Okay, 2H, 2H, doon lang natin pachucho. Okay, now nitrogen, okay, balance ko lang nitrogen, mga ganun. Okay, now oxygen is 6. Oh, really? Doon lang na yan. So, kung oxygen lang 6, mga kalamba, kung hitag. Charot. Okay, you need to add here sodium. Okay, sodium. Okay, you have to add here, okay, 0 plus 1, that is 6, oxygen 6. Okay, ganun. But to make sure also, we need to bonify the trial and error method, guys. Okay, let's go to the math na lang yun siya, ha? Math. Okay, so hydrogen is equals to 1, the product is 2, okay? 2 like that, hydrogen. 2, then we need to say x here, so meaning x is equals to 2, so 2 here, okay? And then we have nitrogen. So nitrogen, we have 2 plus 1 is equal to nitrogen. 2, then this is the 2, 2 plus, no, 2 only. This is sodium, right? So 2. So you get 2x, blah, 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 2 by 2, 2. So 2x is equal to, 2x is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 halves. So, buta nga rin yung 3 halves in the array. No, ganaan. Okay. Oh. And then after sa nitrogen, sa man. Okay. Oxygen na yun. But before anything else, we have the fraction. We have the fraction. Certain thing. Okay? Times 2, right? We just to alter the improper fraction. It's gonna be 4 moles of hydrogen. Nitrous oxide. No, nitrous acid. It's not an H. Okay? Please forgive me, guys. I, I'm not talking perfectly because that was 20 years ago in my chemical engineering and my chemistry. Okay? So sometimes I get... I found it difficult to direct <laughs> state the correct exactly okay for the words only okay right okay this is nitrous acid okay four moles of nitrous acid okay plus two moles of sodium nitrite um, and then consider oh, we have three moles of one initial nitrosamine okay and then two moles of Sodium oxide. Now, is this balance? Ganda na rin ka. Hello? So, should balance balance siya sa Sotero? Let's check. Is this balance or not? Okay? So, ano na? Pinagoy mo na lang mo po mag-iya-iya-iya ka. Okay? So, hydrogen. Mga palangga. Ang darakat. Hydrogen also. Ganon-ganon. You have to be careful. And then, bilaman. Hydrogen 4 and the other one here. Hydrogen is 6, right? So 4 amount should be added. Take note. See, 4. And the other one is 6. We still have balance of 2 in the left. So it's going to be 6. Oh, ganan. So all you have to do is to put x here at unknown atom. Okay. The form of the array. Ganan. So 4x is equal to 6. x equals to 6 divided by 4. And it's going to be 3 halves. Okay. Multiply this by 3 halves. Okay, it's gonna be 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6, right? 6 nitros. Ganan. Okay, 6 nitros na yung ta. Char. <laughs> oh, ano na siya? 6 moles of nitros acid plus 2 moles of sodium nitrite is equal to 3 moles of nitrosamine. Okay, plus 2 moles of sodium oxide. Ganan. Hmm. So, do you balance mga palangga? Check. Balance. Okay. Nitrogen balance mga palangga? Yup. Yeah, balance ko. Oh. Two times this is ganon. Iba? Nagkaloka. Yes. Balance yun siya mga palangga. 
Okay, ganon. And then um, let's say the uh, no, let's say the okay, balik sa mga oxygen. So ako siya to problema ni mo, mga mo kaya. So four plus ten. Okay, four plus ten. Okay, how much? Fourteen. Ah, uh, di ba? Oxygen two, two, and then we have also three here. So six. We have a balance of eight, right? Two plus three is equals to five. We have a balance of it's gonna be uh nine. Oh, nine shot. So, okay. So ano ang dapat reaction? Okay. Wala na siya to reaction na. Okay. Like that. Okay, mga palangga. Ano na siya itong reaction, no? So, atong product, muna na siya. Atong di siya i-balance. Okay? So, that would perfect siya. So, no? Nakakalok, ha? Perfect talaga. Okay? Ganun. Sodium oxide. Ganun. Diba? So, ano lang siya ka-simple? Okay? Ganun. Okay. Ganun. So, muna niya itong ito sa minsiri, mga palangga. Okay? You get the point, mga palangga, kung hitad. O, oh, ganun. Okay? So, ah, naman siya formula, H2N2, o oh, mga nasakuan, na ito sa means. Okay? Coffee for life. Okay? Nakakalawa. For life talaga. Nakakalawa. Okay? Ganun. Wait. Mmm. Nakakalawa. Right? Mmm. Mm. 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 Okay. So, ano na siya? Ano natin product na H2NO? Muna na ito po ang guys ha? This is our nitrosamine. H2N2O. Okay. Now, this is in the case of the sodium nitrate. Okay. And then converted to sodium nitride. You get the point? Okay. Ito dapat mga palangga kong hitad. Hmm. Yan ay. So, uh, we need now to go to the antioxidant na ta. Okay. Ito dapat po yung mga palangga kong hitad. Antioxidant na ta, guys. Okay. This is now very helpful in curing meat and preserving the meat and any perishable products. Something like that. Curing. Okay. Ito dapat po yung so that it will last for how many months, how many years. So this will be a, a kind of preservative. To the point. So it's gonna be like that. So since I know that that is gonna be, uh, let's say, ascorbate, guys be careful guys, ascorbate is very important in our body, ha? Huh? Okay? So erythorbate also. Don't be confused with the erythorbate and the ascorbate. These are all, these are just isomers. Meaning to say, the same chemical formula but differs in their uh, characteristic or behavior. Something like that. Okay? Meaning to say, how they will be oriented in a chemical structure. Not the same, but the same chemical formula, I mean the general formula. Okay? And then we have also ascorbic acid here. Okay. Ascorbic acid. And we have the celery juice powder. So, sige ito ang purpose ito, Ani, guys. The purpose for this is to add this in our nitrite so that we can avoid of excessive amounts of nitrosamines. Okay. Because this is very dangerous. Okay. Nitrosamines are known to be uh, cancerous. You know, you get the point? Cancerous to... Uh, human being, something like that, okay? At a higher amount. But the issue also is, okay? We need also nitrosamines, low level. <laughs> because it can kill. You got the point? There is an, a contradictory part kasi, eh, contradictory. It can kill harmful bacteria. Okay, harmful bacteria such as the, okay, spoilage, spoil ba? Or poison bacteria that can cause poison in the food. For example, if you eat food and it was highly contaminated, then you feel uh, upset in your stomach. Due, that is due to, okay, nitrosamine. Uh, okay? You get the point. High level of nitrosamine. You get the point. But it can kill harmful 
Di ba? Murag na siya i-act contra ni. O sige lang. Okay. Nandiyan sa aming kill harmful bacteria and spoilage bacteria. Okay. Spoilage bacteria. Okay. Ganaan. Okay. Your poison bacteria. But any bacteria that can cause poison in the food, that is a spoilage bacteria. Okay. Okay. So what is the specific example? First, Salmonella, okay, Escheria coli, E. coli, okay, and then the most popular, I think so if it is popular for you, this is Clostridium glutilinum. Clostridium glutilinum, okay, Clostridium, it sounds difficult, right? Glutilinum. So if you're a bi biologist, or microbiologist, you are very, very, uh, you know, expert for this. Literally known. Okay, since we have also biochemistry, we have a little bit, but not very, you know, not very rigid. Okay? So, Clostridio Botilinum. <laughs> wow! And a Salmonella Escheria coli. The Salmonella Escheria coli, normally, if you found upset in your stomach due to the contaminated food, and food that was uh, rotten, okay, like that. rancid. So these are the bacteria responsible for that. Okay, Salmonella and Escheria coli. Okay, but this Clostridium butelinum, this will be more hazardous na talaga siya. Okay, that can cause cancer. Okay, and this cancer is another thing, this is Glutulism. Okay, Glutulism cancer. Okay, glutenism cancer due to the spoilage bacteria exist in that food to make it poison and then contaminated. So, botulism cancer. Okay? Now, sometimes you cannot distinguish the botulism cancer. It should, uh, you know, the, the leveling is not too high. That's why when you eat that, as in nothing happens, right? But it is also having that, uh, when you eat that, you, you are poisoned immediately. You get the point? So, this butylism can take how many years? That is a chronic disease. Okay? Normally, cancers are chronic disease. Okay? It will not be uh, obvious. In, in fact, there's no, there's no symptoms. You will, you will not feel anything. But after 10 years, after 5 years, after 6, it will be uh, coming to you unexpectedly. So, that is chronic diseases. Okay? So, butylism cancer. Okay? Not only for the preservatives, my God, oh, my, my people, my people, my, my gosh, but also to the uh, oil. You know oil? Any types of oil. Uh, cooking oil, for example. Uh, sunflower oil, okay? Uh, canola oil, olive oil, mustard oil, what else? Vegetable oils. So if you keep on repeating this when you fry the food, and then you also use that again, that can cause butylism cancer. Get the point. And this butylism cancer is life threatening. Okay? Because it will weaken your muscles and tissues in your uh, arms, in your feet. Then you will be paralyzed. Something like that at the age of 60 years old or 50 years old. If you cook, repeating always the cooking oil. So if you cook, then do not reuse. Okay? As much as possible. Or you can reuse twice. But Based on my research, three times or more are really dangerous. Or, to avoid really completely, use only once. Okay? And then throw after cooking. Because there are also people who save money. <laughs> you, you get the point. Even though the color and the appearance of the oil will change already, it's already a sign. Okay? If the color of the oil is changing to brownish, something like that, that's not really the same as before when used for the first time. Meaning to say, there is Clostridium botulinum for that. That can cause, okay, botulism cancer. Life threatening. Be careful, paralyzed. Okay, your body will, will be paralyzed. Because also when I work also in, you know, Sabic industry, in Sabic and Petrochemical, our manager, city manager is, uh, I think he's turning 60 years old. Okay, we converse a little bit like that. And then, he told me, he told me that this is going to be his disease. Something like that. 
okay and he maintained medicines like the blah 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 so and so because when they are young like this blah 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 so and so they are not really that uh, particular for that they keep on repeating using that you know the oil and i know also a lot will do this <coughs> get the point in fact also <laughs> we also do this before since we know we don't have knowledge yet okay then after that i found oh my gosh something like that. and i tell my parents i told my parents about it also and my brothers and sisters the whole family See? okay because i am the only professional inclined to science in our family something like that and i have also to protect my family <laughs> just like this i want to protect you as my old chance in my online platform vlogging with regards to this uh, carcinogenic substances and carcinogen called nitrosamines okay come on okay so nitrosamines that's why we cannot eliminate that because it can kill harmful bacteria okay and then if it is also very high it can cause breast cancer bowel cancer okay and um, prostate cancer so very you know it's crazy right so, in another because average level, adequate level. So, this uh, WHO World Health Organization says 70 grams per day. 70 grams per day of nitrosamine, meaning to say the, the, the meat we eat. So, it's understood that we, we don't need to eat in frequent manner. But sad to say, most of the times we eat meat, okay? But it depends on you if you have uh, physical activities. Or maintenance like that whatever so that it can be uh, dissolved okay inside your body uh, torn out as waste something like that okay but I told you it's gonna be 70 grams is very less 70 grams per day and for example if you eat you know a leg of a chicken chicken okay and uh, the thigh of a chicken don't you think it's only 70 grams there of the nitrosamine and then if you accumulate that in 365 days, what will happen? Though you will also remove the human waste, but nitrosamine, guys, is not completely miscible to water. Meaning insoluble. Meaning uh, this is not really hydrophilic. Meaning to say it will never dissolve completely to water. Though it dissolves partly, like that but it is not uh, really a hydrophilic substance that it will dissolve all throughout by water alone okay it can be dissolved by acids that's what we have here right nitrous acid blah 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 so and so okay you get the point so be careful because most of the carcinogenic substances are not really soluble to water even though you drink water too much okay you get the point so that's the issue of carcinogens Okay, toxins can all, it's okay, there are also toxins that can be dissolved completely with water, but for the carcinogens, not all, or the pathogens. Okay, cancer-causing, uh, cancer-causing substances that are pathogens. Uh, cancer-causing substances, okay, pathogens. Okay, related to the carcinogens. Okay, but the carcinogens is specific. The pathogens are general. So, pathogen, example, carcinogen. Ganon. Toxin. Oh, ganon. What else? Uh, uh, contaminated food. Uh, poisoned food. Mga example, example sa, okay, ito kung ingon ninyo nga, maon, actually, may tabo. Tsara! <laughs> okay, sa pathogens. Okay? Okay. Ganon siya. 70 grams, ha? Kung nakakalamin ito, say, you need to control because it's not practical to measure. We don't have the weighing measure. Uh, we don't have the weighing platform or anything device that will measure our uh, nitrosamine level inside our body. Okay? Get the point. Anak siya may tapo. Nakin. Muna siya ang nitrate. Ay, napunta sa mga antioxidant. Right? Ganon. Now, I need to introduce the formula of ascorbic acid or the vitamin C. Okay. So, Vitamin C. What is the purpose of the vitamin C? First, we need to... Because vitamin C is essential to connect with this topic. So that we can reduce the level of nitrosamine. We need to intake vitamin C. Okay. What is the formula of vitamin C? Okay. Like that. We'll keep on buying vitamin C, but we don't know the formula. Okay. 
So it look, it's okay, but at least we know what is the function. Okay? Because you are not chemical engineers, you are you are not chemists, and you are not a science graduate, so who cares to know the chemical formula, right? But at least you know the function. Okay? You get the point? Anaksha. Okay. Vitamin C function. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is called ascorbic acid. Okay. So if you say the, you know, I don't buy ascorbic acid, maybe they cannot understand. Okay. But that is vitamin C. Okay. Multivitamins, vitamin C. But it's also awkward to say that, right? Okay. But maybe they will not. Of course, the, pharm the pharmacist can understand because, because they have a lot of chemistry. More than the chemical engineers and the chemists, the, the pharmacists, that is their center of their study. Uh, detailed chemistry, all about uh, medicinal products, pharmaceutical products, syrups, antibiotics, tablets like that, stimulants, uh, you know, antiseptics, disinfectants, a lot that is coverage of pharmacist or pharmacy. So they are better than other courses about if you talk about. Of this kind of uh, medicinal products or multivitamins, vitamins, everything, so chuba chucho. Okay, they can understand, of course, if they are licensed pharmacists or even not licensed as long as they know the research, they read it. It's not really a requirement as long as you read, you research, it doesn't matter na talaga yung profession talaga, di ba? Correct me, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, okay? And then, ascorbic acid. Oh, yana. This is vitamin C. The function is, okay, the function is to. Help kill the okay the bad microorganisms. Okay, the bad microorganisms to avoid diseases, illnesses, sicknesses, or even cancer. Okay, and that is the definition. Vitamin C, ascorbic acid, the function is to help kill the bad living microorganisms all microorganisms bad microorganisms are living because they are alive okay living microorganisms to okay to kill okay to kill them okay to avoid diseases sickness ill health adverse health diseases and chronic diseases cancer like that now why i say to help kill there's an action verb help Help. We need to say he has partner in order to kill this bad microorganism. And what what is the partner of this vitamin C? Okay. So it's gonna be like I will show to you the partner of vitamin C to help kill and eliminate the bacteria or living organisms, especially the the germs, the germicidal action, the bacteria, the parasites, the worm, the viruses, name it, everything. Okay, so it will have the partnership of your WBZ. What's WBZ? White blood cells, leukocytes. Okay, this is the function of leukocytes to help kill bad microorganisms also in order you will not get sick. Or meaning to say antivirus of human being. Okay, it will filter out this virus. Head. So that is really the WBC but then it will catch and then it will trap and then it will kill last okay attract trap after attraction normally they will be trapped and after trapping they will be killed so very intelligent white blood cells okay there's a process and leukocytes are so many you have the phagocytes mangaganusha lymphocytes if you take about uh, biochemistry or biology, you can understand also what are the type of white blood cells. That's the main purpose of your WBC. Okay, that's why all people have white blood cells. Okay, that's leukocytes mainly. Okay, then plus vitamin C. Okay, they are collaborating with each other. Okay, vitamin C, the antibodies. Okay, you should have more antibodies to resist the existence of this bacteria, okay, or viruses, antibodies, and also the antigens, okay, so it's gonna be like that, antigens, okay, so that's why anti-anti, because it is acting opposite, 
okay, to the functions of this bad living organism. So, anti, anti, anti. Adjective, meaning anti. Meaning kasi opposite talaga siya. Okay? And then, speaking about anti, we have also antioxidants. Okay? okay. I will explain antioxidants later. This is very important. Okay, we have the flavonoids found in citrus fruits. Okay, flavonoids, polyphenols. Okay. And then, I don't have to state all the chemical formula because we don't have time. Okay? I will reach midnight. If I will, you know, discuss everything, the chemical formula, blah, 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 so on. So, okay? Polyphenols. Okay? And after that, we have the secondary metabolites. Okay? Secondary metabolites. Something like that. Okay? Get the point? Mga ganon. Okay. Now, Secondary metabolites first is an ingredient of vaccine. Okay? That's why the virus will be killed. Because the vaccine have an ingredient called secondary metabolites. Okay? If there's no secondary metabolites, then your vaccine is useless. Because the function of secondary metabolites, living organisms, is to fight the bad living organisms, including these viruses. Okay? But it happens, these metabolites are good. So I told you, there's good bacteria. And the last will be the biome. Biome family. B-I-O-M-E. The good bacteria in our immune system. Okay. So, so, so tira mo na kailangan the good bacteria. Because there, this will stop them of activating the dormant cancer cells in our bodies. I discussed a while ago, we have two types of cells in our vital organs. The active cells and the dormant inactive cells. This dormant inactive cells will be activated if we have so many bad organisms existing in our immune system. They are not functioning yet, but it will be activated only if there are diseases, sicknesses, chronic diseases due to this organism, living organisms, bacteria, everything, germs that will go into our immune system. So, it's gonna be like that, okay? So, the dormant, inactive cells, and the active cells. Two types of cells inside our body. Okay, and that's very clear. And we have the biome, okay, good bacteria, okay? Now, so how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten is? Nutrients. Okay. Ganan. Eleven is minerals. Okay. And others. I put others because there's a lot also that I cannot express in this single moment. Okay. So there are twelve partners in order for us not to get sick, not to get ill, not to develop acute diseases nor chronic diseases or any cancers. We have white blood cells, we need the leukocytes. We have the vitamin C or different types of vitamins. We have the antibodies, okay, for antigens for testing. Okay, there's some ingredients for that. Of course, you cannot uh, observe the leveling of your antigens if there's no test. Something, how can you detect that one? So there must be an antigen test, okay. Number five, antioxidants. Number six, flavonoids. Number seven, polyphenols. Number eight, secondary metabolites, which are the ingredients of uh, vaccine. Number ten, nutrients. Okay. Number eleven, minerals. What are the examples of minerals? Magnesium, potassium, calcium, blah, 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 so and so. In the periodic table. Okay, normally group 1A and group 1-2B. The, al the alkali earth metals and the alkaline metals. Okay? Something like that. And then we have 12 others. Ano, dapat ay biome. 13 biome family. So, biome family are the good bacteria, meaning we eat uh, probiotic food. What are the pro probiotic food? Okay, these are the yogurt, things like this. Yogurt is very important for our health, my friend. Even though you will not eat the carbohydrates, you will feel full if you will only just eat yogurt. At first, you will find difficulty. I cannot sleep. Something like that. Me, personally, I cannot sleep. Okay, when I found out in my research, oh my gosh, it's 
okay pala. And then uh, after a month like that, oh, I can eat only two yogurt in my dinner and I can sleep. So, it's very, at first talaga siya, it's, it's too difficult because your system is not adaptive to it and it's not immune to it. Okay, but little by little, gradually after my exercise, something like that, oh, it's gonna be like that. And you should also fortify that with uh, citrus fruits. Me, I always accompany banana, uh, apple, something like that. Okay, and then two pieces of full fat, full fat, imagine, huh? full fat, uh, you know, yogurt, and then no rice at all, no bread, something like that. But it doesn't mean every day. What I am telling you, I emphasize the relevance or the health information of eating yogurt as a probiotic needed for our buying family, our good bacteria, to be strong, to fight this bad living organisms. The viruses, the bacteria, the parasites, the worm, or any kind of uh, very dangerous uh, microorganisms. Okay, on. Okay, now I will I will also discuss you the the vaccine here. Okay, I told you that the secondary multivalents are the ingredients of the vaccine, right? So there are people no have vaccine, but they are not attracted with the virus. What's the reason? Because we have, we have 12 here. If they are rich in the other points, then the virus also cannot go with their system. Because the point, for example, if they have higher antigen, antibodies, vitamin C, vitamin C, there's no purpose of the <laughs> living organisms to stay wet. For example, antioxidants. Okay, this is coming from the fruits. Citrus fruits, flavonoids, green leafy vegetables. So if you just eat every day, vegetables, green leafy vegetables, and citrus fruits, there's no way the virus will attract to you. If you are attracted by the virus, meaning you are having weak resistance, in which this antioxidants and flavonoids cannot help already. Okay? But under normal circumstances, if you are rich in these 12 items, they can never, you can never have this kind of viruses in your system or any bacteria. Because this, kanil pa antioxidant, Okay, antioxidant will help destroy the habitat of the bad organism. Okay, the, the viruses, the bacteria, they will stay in our immune system, right? They will, miss, they will not stay longer if there's no outlet for them to stay. You get the point. So if there's no outlet for them to stay, why they will stay for a longer time there? They will just die immediately. So meaning to say there's an outlet for them to stay. Oh, there's a habitat, a place where they will enjoy their immune system. So the only way to, to avoid that is to maintain these 12 items I mentioned, okay? Especially the antioxidant. Antioxidant is very important because it will, uh, you know, eliminate the free radicals. You know free radicals? Okay. The free radicals are the unpaired oxygen. Unpaired oxygen, that if you have so many unpaired oxygen in your system, it will create an outlet for the viruses and bacteria to stay in your immune system. So the only way to do that, again, nutrients, antioxidants, flavonoids, citrus fruits, green leaf vegetables, something like that. You get the point? And then that's increasing your oxygen atoms. As I told you, all foods have oxygen atoms. Okay, now if you add oxygen in your immune system, your oxygen will be stabilized. Because I told you, right, that is a, a lone pair oxygen, uh, unshared uh, oxygen, then it will become a free radical, okay, as an outlet for the virus. Because if you have only eat so many flavonoids, antioxidants, there's no way for the virus to exist in your immune system because there's no outlet anymore. Because your oxygen atoms are well balanced. You get the point? Now, the danger of this, so many free radicals in your body because you don't eat too much this, uh, this item, C, or the oxygen, blah, blah, so on. So, the danger for that also, this unpaid oxygen atoms will destroy and eat all your cell membrane in your vital organs. They will weaken the vital organs. Okay, after weakening the cell membrane, you know, cell membrane of our vital organs, so you will be weak. And <laughs> that's also the reason the bad organisms easily attack on you. And you, first, you will get sick. Symptoms will be there. 
like that because you are uh, not meeting the requirement of our stable oxygen atoms in which we can gain that through eating citrus fruits and green leafy vegetables, antioxidants, flavonoids, polyphenols, and the secondary metabolites also. Though, the secondary metabolites are the ingredients of the vaccine, but we, we have also secondary metabolites inside our immune system, meaning the natural secondary metabolites. The secondary metabolites are put in the vaccine is artificially prepared. Okay, that have the same function. That's why other people, even though they don't have vaccine, they are not vaccinated, but they don't have uh, COVID. Just the main reason because they have strong like this, these 13 items. And then, plus also the health protocols and health hygiene, something like that. So bingo, it will not really attack on you. Sorry. <laughs> you got the point? Oh, no, 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 no. Social distancing, physical distancing, like whatever, wear a mask. We also I always wear a mask, even though there's no issue no more with a COVID, but I still wear a mask. Okay, so I, as much as I could, I should, uh, I should still maintain. I don't care what other people say. I should still maintain the health protocols. Even though most of the people are not practicing already the mask, I will wear. This is for myself. Because saliva contamination, saliva, when the people are talking, saliva contamination and the airborne contaminants also in the atmosphere. Okay, you get the point? Ganon. Especially if the distance are only very, you know, short distance only because this uh, viruses can mutate trillion times immediately. Mutation, under the process of mutations, they can exist like that. A millions of mutations, the very fast movement, okay? So we need to uh, control also, aside from knowing this fact also, we should de de depend on this, huh? okay? Aside from this, we should maintain the health protocols, okay? And health and hygiene, washing our hands, before eating, after eating, and then uh, wipe our hands with a uh, antiseptic uh, sanitizer, liquid sanitizer for sanitation. That would be included also. Okay, even though you know already the fact here, because personally I've been applying. That's why I can I can share it to you. Okay, you get the point. And I will not be an arrogant to say I am now forty six years old, but I don't have maintenance in medicine, even a single vitamin. Really, the capsule, the syrup, multivitamin, I don't take, okay? So I'm just taking only the simple paracetamol there, the biogesic or whatever, but not on the vitamins chuba chuchu. I don't experience taking any single multivitamin in my entire life. Okay? That's it. And I know this fact also. This one. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I will go to the doctor at the age of 60, Maybe also, we don't know, I cannot predict, but based on what I felt right now, uh, it's nothing because you can feel yourself also, right? It's gonna on, okay, it's gonna be like that. Okay, and for the record also, uh, thank you Lord, I've never been admitted to hospital even though for one day in my entire life. Okay, I'm just telling the truth. Okay, maybe you will say also, no, it's not, okay, because I'm, you know, I'm, looking for my health and prayers also every time okay follow this one health protocols and then prayers okay like that it's gonna be a combination of you know you know uh prayers health and hygiene protocols and knowing that knowledge technical information about health science and bingo you, you can really have oh my gosh Something like that, okay. I cannot explain, but oh my gosh, <laughs> something so like that. And also regular exercise, okay, physical activities, okay, to, to remove the, you know, the toxins, the waste products from your excretory. Excretory system meaning the, the anal, the anus, the, the mouth, the skin pores, okay, the, you know, the penis, the vagina, in which the urine will come out. You get the point? In urine, there's waste a lot. The conversion of larger molecules into smaller molecules. And these converted smaller molecules are more or less, let's say, salts, electrolytes, okay, uh, burned fatty substances, anything about there. If we try to get sample in the laboratory, oh, you can say, oh my gosh, there's uric acid, there's urea, there's a propionic acid in there, there's a butyric acid, and there's a bilirubin. Bilirubin protein is very dangerous, guys. Okay? 
bilay Ruben. You will become yellowish. And then, awasan kang abdo. Okay, that is a jaundice disease. You know jaundice? You turn into a pale a skin, yellowish skin, and your eyes also will become yellowish. In, B in Bisaya, that is awasan ng abdo. But actually, that is a jaundice disease. Okay, yellowish of your... And that's a sign also that you have a hepatitis, something like that. In the liver, disease in the liver, liver inflammation. If you have that kind of color in your skin, in your eyes, there's something wrong. You have to go to the doctor. If something changes in your skin, turn into a little bit pain. Oh my gosh, what's happening to me? And it's not normal already. Okay? Things like that. And that is due to the presence of bilirubin protein that will come out into your penis. Or if you are a girl, it will come out in your vagina. Something like that. And that is really a, a salt. Something like that. Organic salt. Oh, you get the point. That's why the level is, should be at this maximum of 0 0.3 milligrams per liter okay, of your bilirubin. Because the doctor will test this every time in your physical examination, medical examination. Take a look on your certificate. There is a bilirubin protein. Not only the cholesterol, the whatever, the blood, the sugar. The bilirubin is very dangerous. Okay, because this is an indicator that your liver is not functioning well now. Liver damage. You get the point, the bilirub bilirubin protein. Okay? You get the point? Ganon. Okay? So, not too much with uric acid because uric acid is normally, uh, you know, for the joints, uh, joints, the bones like that. If you have too much like that, then you cannot walk properly. Mamanodin mo mga kauluran, something like that. So, that's also uric acid, right? You get the point? Mga ganon-ganon chuga chucho. Okay? Then you have to take note also food that, that has not rich in oil. Okay? Avoid oily substances. Again, meaty substances. Frying, frying galore. Okay, me, I always fry because I'm very, very confident. Okay, why? Because I have the regular exercise. Okay? And I will limit also my, uh, you know, carbo intake. And I don't have white rice, baby, baby, anatum. Something like that. And sometimes also, I don't have sugar in my coffee. Like that. Though I will drink three in one alley coffee, but not every day. Okay, because if I will not also intake sugar, okay, I'm just human being. I crave also for sweet. The only way to do that is to drink three in one coffee because I also curtail and I also minimize the sweets from, uh, for example, halo halo, uh, ice cream, uh, chocolates, something like that, or any or cake. I avoided that. That's why I need to go to the other sweetened food that don't have a maximum leveling of the sugar additives. Something like that. That is three in one, mangaganon, at least, right? And then also sometimes I will eat hopia, something like that. The obi hopia. But that also all the time. I think twice, twice a month, like that. And junk foods also, let's say one time a month, twice a month. Because I'm still human being, I cannot eliminate everything. You get the point? Ganon! Okay, that's part of controlling. Okay, now, taas ang akong istorya. Muna na siya na! Okay, I will show the chemical reactions so that they can easily for us to have the, the idea of regarding epidemiology. Okay, nag-anatomy nag na ba ako? Oh, Nag-check nung... Okay. So, anyhow, the anatomy and the physiology is the center of medical science, but I'm not a doctor. Okay, but I'm not, I will just stay a little bit, okay? To the point. Ganon. Okay, Every time, everything can be done into research.